Today on the Praxis Behind the Obscure podcast, I visit Kathmandu, Nepal. Nepal is the birthplace of the Buddha and is famous for many of the holy sites, as well as traditions of Buddhism. Tanka art, which is traditionally used in Tibetan Buddhism as a meditation tool for deity yoga practice, is one of the traditions that flourishes in Nepal. Lama Kumar was kind enough to invite me to his studio, an art school, to discuss Tanka art, his family tradition, the process of apprenticeship to mastery, and the changing market of Tanka art in the modern day. Okay. Yeah, you can magnify and see yeah, all the details. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All the different. So details. these are all your like. Um, yeah, these are the students. Yeah. yeah, the student level of work, like okay, this type. Okay. Look. Let's see. Yeah, it takes thirty-five days of work that to finish. It takes thirty-five days. Yeah, wow. and even wow. all the small. This is it takes wow. twenty days of work that with a single artist wow. through fine intricate like that detail. <laughs> What if you're making, so even as a master, I'm sure you make mistakes sometimes, right? Yeah, like sometimes. Like a tiny, tiny mistake. Very, must, must tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, God damn it, I got to start again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 yeah. days wasted. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, very nice to meet you. You have yeah, a beautiful yeah, uh, shop here in yeah, Tamil. Yeah, yeah, Tamil yeah. or Thamil? It's you? a Tamil. Tamil, okay. Yeah, you're in Tamil. Tamil. Yeah, Tamil. Yeah, Tamil. Okay, okay. Can you Tamil. introduce yourself and how did you get started with this Thanka art Actually, um, uh, Actually, this is my family work. Family work, uh, okay. Family work. It's mm -hmm. been a long time. It's about okay. like a... If I say this painting is uh, been established by my grandfather, it's mm -hmm. about 30, 40 years ago. Okay. Uh, because my grandfather is no life, uh, no mm -hmm. more life now, mm -hmm. and uh, still my father does this kind of artwork, and uh -huh. this is the way. And uh -huh. when he became retired, and then I just follow to him that uh, what he has been doing this kind of art project before in Nepal, right? Mm. And this is the way I became artist, and I became a, like a, a gallery man, something that has mm -hmm. opened the school that I can teach to people here. There we have got a lots of boys and girls are here he used to come here, here to learn here. because even <laughs> she's been uh -huh. very new students here. new student yeah, yeah. very new okay. student uh -huh. and uh, the problem is that during the mm. covid period uh -huh. uh, there is less people otherwise sure. we have got hundreds of people uh, there i have been teaching them here and sure, there is sure. our art school yeah. and which is very nearby here uh -huh. it's about like five yeah. minute walk Right. And uh, so that uh, what I have been paying, everything's are there in my school that mm -hmm. I just bring here, expose, which I can sell to people. Mm -hmm. And we just collect the money and use for the school. Sure, sure. And this is the way I came here. <laughs> it's kind of off topic, but how much did COVID, um, the COVID, so a lot of tourists come to Tamil from Europe and America. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they buy, the you know, they buy paintings and <laughs> different items. So since the COVID um, pandemic, how yeah. much has the... You know, there are, got, there are, there like are, ninety percent down. Ninety-five percent, ninety-five, five percent down, <laughs> because there's no, no more, no any more tourists are during the COVID period. Yeah, you know? so your your Nepal. sales are down. Yeah, much more down. So much. Yeah. So this is the way. Uh, even myself is been very hard to live here, the survive mm. the life. Right, you know, right, right. That you, you just think that, so how I just be come here mm -hmm. and I just keep the people here sure. study as also right. giving them like a more, uh, like, a, like a practice, you know. Sure. This is the way, it's very sure. hard. And this yeah. is the way we need to have uh, some help uh -huh. like you people, you know. Sure, so sure, that sure. as you come here and we are really right. appreciated there as we are also very happy uh -huh. because you people are support us that sure. which I can keep more people here and sure. study continue so uh -huh. that I will also can keep the traditional as a culture uh -huh. in Nepal that doing this kind of art project. Right. No, yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, COVID has been very devastating for a lot of, especially yeah. developing countries. Yeah, that developing are, you know, countries. Uh, yeah. They can't afford to do a lockdown. They're losing all their industries. Sure, sure, and so, sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, yeah. Maybe we can talk a little bit about um, what is the process yeah. of becoming a Thanka artist? So, for example, she's new, right? Yeah, she's, uh, she's, she's very new. And you said maybe it takes 10 years to... Yeah, 10 years. But she's uh -huh. uh, the, quite new. It's about like a week two weeks ago okay she just came here mm -hmm. and because she's now just uh, beginning but mm -hmm. she need to have a lot of practice yeah okay and uh, maybe in three months so uh -huh. that just she, she get a basic course okay. and after that they, she just study that how to paint uh -huh. uh, what's the color as mm -hmm. in different name so then she's going to process slowly okay. that everything and th this is uh -huh. means it uh, takes 10 years of study for that uh -huh. uh, to her that to become a master okay so what are the levels there's like absolute beginner 
Yeah. And then you have like an uh, apprentice uh, student. Yeah. What are the different levels? They are quite different because uh -huh. uh, the, the beginner as uh -huh. a medium mm -hmm. and the higher. As a higher means is the master level. Okay. Master level means they are become professional artists. Okay. And then they can paint that much more. They can teach to people. They okay. can open the school. And this is uh -huh. a way there are also few schools are here. Maybe 10, uh -huh. 15 C schools are here, okay. which means I have been teaching them so that uh -huh. they make a graduate. Then they can open the school. They can teach to people. Uh, mm -hmm. So once you become a master, you can yeah. open your own you shop. Your own shop. Your own so maybe can, someday she has yes, her own. Yeah, yeah, also. Uh, someday she will be also have this kind of name? gallery. What's her name? Uh, so charisma. 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 <laughs> charisma. Oh, very charismatic. Yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe next time I come back 10 years later. Yeah, yeah. Come and do. We say charisma. Charisma. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. <laughs> of course, yeah. School of charisma. <laughs> yeah, school of, school of charisma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably like that also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's why she's been now, now uh -huh. study as also process <laughs> deeper, you know, so uh -huh. that and this is how that is also kind of life. And okay. uh, so this is a pandemic time. So this is uh -huh. a way and the way people also very hard to live. And mm -hmm. uh, so that and if somebody uh, buy this kind of artwork which uh -huh. I can sell and we also can uh -huh. uh, collect the money as used for school okay. and this is how that we also live here you know? sure, sure, sure. and usually uh -huh. uh, we people are from the countryside it's uh -huh. not from here and we okay. came from the countryside that I been this studies are mm -hmm. teaching people mm -hmm. and open the galleries and the school mm -hmm. and they just we just make give them continue class and okay. this is the way you know so you you'd mentioned that your grandfather was uh, yeah because so well, is it is it is it, are most people who um, are in the in the thanka art industry is it kind of their is it from family. a lineage of family? Yeah, they, they are, they are, we have uh -huh. to have a family uh, relations as a, a background. Conne connection. A with connection, the yeah. I Otherwise, see. normal people cannot paint this kind of thanka art. They uh, have to have a lot of uh, passion. They have to have uh -huh. history, okay. the background. History and, uh, yeah, background. History. Okay. And if the family uh -huh. does, and then so that we also can do this kind of artwork. Okay. Means this is a long uh -huh. process uh, to paint thanka, you know. Takes you said ten years. Ten to years of a study master, yeah. to become master. Then okay. we can paint the thanka okay. and much nicer. As then they become a popular, so okay. that many people know, and then they can teach to people. Okay, I have a question. Do you need to be a Buddhist to paint, or can no, you no. be? Can you uh, be Hindu or can no, you be anyone can atheist learn. or whatever? Anyone can, anyone but, can but, learn. But be okay. before, normally this type of thanka art mm -hmm. also have the strict rule. Okay. Means even there were uh, people paint this kind of artwork suddenly sure. uh -huh. for the monasteries or from for the holy place, but okay. now become more commercialized. Okay. So that means uh, uh -huh. anyone can learn, anyone can do business. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure, sure. Because this is uh, like a uh -huh. philosophy. Sure. The philosophy means uh, so that people can learn, people uh -huh. can teach to people, mm -hmm. so people can understand everything. Okay. So there I also have a way as also like a more like kind uh -huh. of, you know, something traditional as also been there, Thanka. Sure. So this is a way that how it became. Okay, okay. So, so, yeah, sure, sure. So a lot of these, so you have like green Tara here. Yeah. Uh, these are all uh, Buddhist deities, right? Yeah, these so this are is like Buddhist the mother, deities, yeah, yeah. sort of the mother Buddha. Yeah, mother Buddha. And then you have Chakra Samvara, Vajrayogini. Vajrayogini and right. Kala Chakra. Kala Chakra, right. So uh, if you're an artist, do you learn all of the details about, so each of these, uh, for example, uh, the details of them are very important. Yeah, right? they're very you can't important. just leave out details. So yeah. they all have some kind of uh, spiritual or esoteric significance, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like uh, oftentimes you see them in union. Yeah, it's a yeah. passion and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, bliss, yeah, and yeah, wisdom yeah. and emptiness yeah, yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, yeah. Compassion. Right? Compassion. Yeah, right. So yeah, do you, uh, yeah. if you're an artist, do you learn all the details of the meaning? Sure, of that? sure. You sure, must, you must study yeah, the yeah, um, yeah. Must like the Vajrayana. Yeah, Vajrayana. Um, yeah. Uh, significance of these deities. What the significance? What they have different? You know the qualities. Artist. As mm -hmm. also uh, where they come from, you know, sure. everything they have to study. That's why right. they have to have lots of lessons mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. there, you know. Sure, so sure. then they will uh, know more about it, and then they uh -huh. can paint, you know. So this is the way. Uh -huh. So then they can paint. So they understand what they're painting. Yeah, right? sure, of course. Okay. So in a traditional context, these are used as um, tools of meditation, right? Yeah, tools so, of meditation. So in Vajrayana, they call that yidam maha yoga, yeah, yidam yeah, practice. Yeah, 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 so yeah. for example, if you're doing a chakra sambara yeah, practice, yeah, yeah. you visualize I'm Haruka, and you, you understand? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I visualize yeah, the energy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, the no, mantra, right? Mantras, yeah. I'm chanting the mantra and yeah, visualizing yeah, this yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah. But for most tourists, they only think about just oh, it's beautiful, right? Like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, not uh, only that, you know. So yeah, they no. have to study mm -hmm. as a more. It means uh, uh -huh. uh, there is a two kind of thing. If somebody because this type of thanka art mm -hmm. is like kind of one one of the uh, luxurious uh, uh -huh. handmade art means like a royal product. Okay. You know, means that mm -hmm. if somebody have a lot of uh, like a uh, the goodness as something that as also people want to uh, collect like have a has a hobby, you know, this uh -huh. is like one of uh, luxurious art, you know. Okay. Okay. So, 
but the uh-huh. traditionally in Tibetan Buddhism, mm-hmm. uh, they have to have a, like a kind of different. But nowadays mm-hmm. it became like that. Means sure. uh, so nowadays if somebody people means travel, then they would like to have this kind of tankas right. are here. You know, this is like sure. a one of handmade. As uh-huh. also people think that is like a more souvenir or mm-hmm. it's kind of nice art. Also mm-hmm. sometimes people buy this also have a resale value. You know, uh-huh. like uh-huh. that people can keep for 10, 20, 30 years. <laughs> so then they can sell much more. You know, this right. is a different way. As people is uh, uh-huh. different as thinking. You know, sure. some people buy like that kind uh-huh. of uh, concept. Some people buy like a more religious purpose. Sure. Some people buy like a uh, they know the more deeper meaning. Okay. You know, uh-huh. so there are many ways to buy this kind of tanka art. Right. You can appreciate pop. just as a picture or sure. for meditation. Yeah, meditation. Or, you know. Okay. So which like which that. ones are? Uh, I'm curious. What which um, which deities are famous for local people? Oh, and which uh, ones are famous for tourists? I'm sure it's probably different, right? No, actually, the same? Uh, actually, uh, local peoples are here in Nepal. Uh-huh. Uh, met uh, like a, like a green tara, white green tara, tara are okay. the more famous. Okay. So that as people, even local people also uh-huh. buy it here okay. because they also have the symbol. Uh-huh. And but now ta- nowadays <coughs> is in uh-huh. young generations also people uh-huh. like to buy like a circle of life, you know, because okay. they give you all the things there like mm-hmm. that as something the new that something you know like mm-hmm. a philosophy. Mm-hmm. You know, the when you have a study about philosophy, sure. something the change way of our life. Uh-huh. So you know how we get nirvana, something like that, sure. as a meditation. So it's a different thing, also like that. Okay. But the before, mm-hmm. uh, like a 10, 15 years before uh-huh. in Nepal, mm-hmm. so the. Very few people, few people, okay. uh, they know Thangka, means uh, uh-huh. the time people are from Tibet, they, okay. they know. And But nowadays, the more people know the mm-hmm. Thangka, which is come from Tibet, is uh-huh. traditionally, so that, and right. they have a school that has also been teaching them, mm-hmm. so that now it's uh, growing more and more, uh-huh. so that people know more here yeah, like that. Yeah, it originally came from Tibet, right? Yeah, so yeah. So the, the Tibetan, uh, uh, yeah, culture. from the Vajrayana yeah. monks. Yeah, but, yeah Vajrayana and monks. As they, as they fled uh, China, well, Tibet, which yeah, be, yeah, China yeah. took it over. Yeah, yeah. They fled yeah. to here, then they brought these traditions. Yeah, yeah the traditional in Nepal. And yeah, then yeah. and then Nepalese started studying them. And, yeah, more. Um, okay, then opening shops and yeah, things like this. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> exactly like that. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, I'm curious. Uh, what What do you consider for students? What is the hardest part when they're learning how to make uh, thangka? What yeah. is the most difficult? The uh, first student is most difficult uh-huh. is that only understand the philosophy. Okay. The rule of Buddhism. Oh, okay. So because paint is that normally you can also study, you can also paint, uh-huh. but background what is there? What's the meaning? What's what the, the meaning? This is right. very uh, much harder to understand. Sure, sure. So sure. this is where it takes long time. They have to uh-huh. study as in the book, and they have to know more about it. That because right. some people can come here and they just uh, if uh-huh. I paint there, as people can was as they just leave front of me, uh-huh. so then they can try to practice that to paint, uh-huh. but the, to know history. Right. So this this is something very hard, difficult. Mm. So that they have to find something, the rules, something, uh-huh. and then it's a. Th- this is why it takes time. Right. Right. I, uh, we were in the. Um, I went to the village yesterday, kind of outside of Kathmandu, I mean, and there were a lot of the Hindu. Um, kind of, they look like thangkas too. They're like Hindu style thangkas. Ah. You know, but they're less detailed. I was I realized that the Buddhist thangkas like this, there's so many small details. Which yeah, have, so many. They details. all have the different significance. Yeah, yeah. So each each little detail has a um, a special meaning. Right? A special the, meaning. The Hindu ones are interesting too, but they have less. It seems like a lot less detail. Yeah. So that's right. why thangka uh-huh. art is uh, the most uh, the popular in Nepal nowadays mm, okay. because they are really really intricate because this mm-hmm. is done by that something very specialized people mm-hmm. and they have got a lot of patients study our 10 years you know okay. then they can paint small mm-hmm. small intricate work and mm-hmm. but all this small intricate work everything is that paint with a single hair of yak I which is, takes a long time to uh, like exercise his brain eyes and uh-huh. hand everything uh-huh. you know like that so it means to make uh-huh. a so many intricate detail right so because i have to have a lot of passion <laughs> right, right. You have to be very, it's like uh, you have to be very concentrated. Yeah, while you very concentrated, it. yeah. Okay, how about, uh, so something like this, we have these really big ones here, right? Chakras of our green tar. Yeah. Something like this, how long does that take to paint? Uh, this is about, uh, like, uh-huh. if we paint that much detail, uh-huh. as uh, also uh, what type of details are there, mm-hmm. as also the sizes, and this size and this details takes about six months, seven months of work with wow. a single artist. Wow. Okay. So within so six months for a master or for yeah, a student by, by, by master by master master. Okay. But oh. students are not that much long time because okay. only difference is that uh-huh. student master. What's the difference? Means that uh-huh. 
master paint whole work with a single hair of yak as by the single artist okay. but the student work somebody does color somebody mm -hmm. does like a different work and mm -hmm. they just leave is by them you know so okay. then it will be quicker as finish faster as mm -hmm. quality it will be much less so it's like the student you guys have like the student tankas they're cheaper yeah cheaper a little yeah. bit less quality yeah, less right quality. and then yeah. the master yeah. tankas it's they're more, very good quality yeah, very much good more quality. expensive so that's why okay. tanka uh, the, the the process of tanka is also the qualities of tankas mm -hmm. are as also the price are big different okay uh, by master students because student <coughs> quality still you also can get even 2000 3000 rupees okay. the small tanka like a maybe mm -hmm. uh, like a4 sizes as a minimum size 3000 mm -hmm. 2000 rupees also mm -hmm. and if you get a master quality maybe a4 size it takes maybe 20 30000 rupees Mm, okay. It's been big different because all uh -huh. the intricate work with a single hair of yak, uh -huh. and they have got a real uh, pigments are by the mineral, mm. vegetable colors, and they sure. put a 24 karat of gold. So then it charges more and more. Oh, because so, so you you paint with what uh, materials? So can you yeah, say like, like a like you a use gold. You paint with gold as well. Yeah, real 24 real karat gold. gold. Wow. Yeah, real wow. gold. Because wow. master quality, uh -huh. we paint with a master quality. Is that always with wow. the 24 karat gold and uh -huh. a mineral pigment, vegetables? So they're like different that. mineral and vegetables. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So this is the way it takes. Wow. A long time and also the charge will be more than okay. the student because okay. students qualities are like a, they are very like a cheap color means like uh -huh. a, even poster camel colors also we can use okay uh, because they are the the basis uh, basic tankas mm -hmm. are there people sell more like sometimes in the street you know sure, so like sure. that, as it looks very nice and if you go closer see mm -hmm. them details are quite different okay okay you know, that um, type of work yeah, I'm curious, do you have any favorite? There's so many in Tibetan Buddhism, there's hundreds and hundreds, yeah. thousands yeah. of the, you know, <laughs> yeah. Chinrazig, you know, Alabuk <laughs> yeah. Kitavzvara, yeah, as yeah. I say. Yeah. So many different ta white Tara, green yeah, Tara, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yamantaka, you, yeah, know, you yeah. have so many, right? Yeah, do you have, Amitabha, do you have any favorite one? Is there a specific one or a few that you really like to do? Yeah, do you have no, any favorites I mean, yourself? Uh, this is not a, not a like you thing, means that there are mm -hmm. so many people are around the world, mm -hmm. you know, every different god and goddesses also have to be there as also, you know, uh -huh. belongs to them like that. Means, sure. means maybe for me that also, my god is that, it's called uh, like a uh, Guru Rinpoche, which oh, Guru means that uh, yeah, belongs yeah. to me. Okay. So maybe for you belongs to Tara or belongs sure. to like a uh, Bhairav, uh, whatever. But we okay. have to uh, have something that uh, which God and goddesses will be belongs to you. Right. There will be uh, seen by the you know like a monks, you know, senior uh -huh. uh, like our guru. Sure. And then sure. they can tell you that this uh -huh. God is for you, belongs to you, mm -hmm. so that which you can uh, like a, something you make a uh, worship or uh, that mm -hmm. it will be good luck for you. So mm -hmm. this is way is different because many people, mm -hmm. many different God and goddesses which makes belongs to them also like that. Sure. Then that this is way there are hundreds of God goddesses uh -huh. are different type of arts. Yeah, so, so for you it's Guru Rinpoche, yeah, so Padma Sambhava. Padma Sambhava, nice, mine nice. is Padma Sambhava. Okay, cool, Means, cool. Uh, Because uh, since long time, we, we know that w uh -huh. when I knew that, uh -huh. as in then I just followed to the Padma Sambhava. Oh, cool, because, cool. Because uh, <laughs> nice. Padma Sambhava is uh -huh. a <laughs> much more, you know, something right. that is more we follow, look at like more tantrics as also more sure. get a power or something. This is way... It's I kind just, of the original yeah. um, uh, guy who brought uh, Vajrayana into yeah. Tibet. Yes, exactly. The founder of uh, yeah, Tibetan yeah, founder, Buddhism, yeah. The founder yeah. of they Tibetan call him Buddha. the second Buddha. Some yeah, call second him the Buddha. second Buddha. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm going to his cave. Actually, you know, in Parping, he has the cave of yeah. Padma Sambhava, yeah, yeah, yeah. where he was uh, practicing and yeah, meditating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I plan yeah. to visit uh, tomorrow, actually. Oh, we're you're going, going to tomorrow. Parping tomorrow. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Padma okay. Sambhava's cave. Padma Sambhava is a very nice yeah. one there. So that'll be good. That'll be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice. I was many times there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Very good, very good. This is very nice as well. Okay. Um... I was going to say what are some other stuff. What, what do you think are some differences when you look at Western art versus this style of art? Yeah. What, what, do you, what are some major differences between... They're big different. They're big differences. Big, big okay. different. Because okay. Western art and the, uh, the Tibetan traditional art are mm -hmm. the big different. Because mm -hmm. even Westerners are, as for them, it's, so that's why this is far away to understand. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. so that. But nowadays, uh, uh, I'm not telling that as something is far different. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes if somebody study, like you people study, sure. and you know sometimes much better than me. You know? <laughs> uh, so uh -huh. this is how it's become, you know, like that. Uh -huh. And uh, But they have to have deeper as also study there, as of mm -hmm. no more actual meaning on it there, like that. Sure. You so know, there's a lot of deep significance. Yeah, a lot which... of deep significance. Okay. But That's, the art mm -hmm. is Western and Nepalese are quite different. 
Okay. Yeah, like okay. So where is your shop located? Uh, maybe do you, is this your only shop in no, school? No, this do you is have a, a few? No, no. We have got our uh, uh -huh. classroom. It's uh, maybe five minutes away from here. Okay. And this so is it's like a little school. Lily school. Uh -huh. And this okay. is like our gallery and uh -huh. where I can expose the my product, my painting. Okay. So, so that physically people can walk here uh -huh. and they can see. And if somebody like, they can buy. Okay. And which means it will be support there. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, this is the way I live here. Uh -huh. And uh, so that as also people can they buy here uh -huh. and uh, so there we have got a lot of paintings are here okay and uh, I hope uh, uh -huh. um, uh, when we make this uh, videos or something like sure. that if you put in YouTube so that people want to uh, mm -hmm. come uh, with us so that as also want to buy Thanka something sure and sure. Uh, we will also make also for them also mm -hmm. you can introduce you know so th sure, this sure. place you get a nice price you know mm -hmm. as uh, we also study the start price 2000 mm -hmm. 3000 rupees which is okay. student qualities a4 size and uh -huh. up to master quality uh -huh. 20 30 thousand rupees 50 thousand rupees it uh -huh. depend you know right. how long we have been there what uh -huh. sort of qualities are there you know because uh -huh. they are all with a single hair of yak the sure. process of art to paint master quality is different and okay. whatever they buy this kind of artwork the money it will be support for their school okay, as like cool. a big community of art so it's and you're supporting um, the local economy yeah you're supporting uh, yeah. Tr uh, um, yeah. long tradition yeah long tradition artists, no. you're yeah. supporting culture the culture yeah. and then sure, which sure. i can keep and we also this is the way we brought many people are from uh, different place uh, like sure. a more tourism will be more go off you know yeah, something sure. that and uh -huh. this is the way you know if i make something for you like a positively something that as sure. people understand people come to me they can buy this thanka and right. they make still support to us so this is the way right. of our life oh very good okay. how do we live <laughs> okay so what What's the name of the shop? Uh, this is called Old Monastery Thanka Painting Art School. Okay. And which is uh, more than 15, 18 years ago. Okay. Uh, it's been, been here 18 years. Yeah. So okay. in this place. Okay. And uh, so that means something is more specialized as also the famous in mm -hmm. Nepal like that. Okay. Okay. And your <laughs> other one, you said you have this one and... Uh, the other one. It's a school uh -huh. also. Okay. And, okay. What's uh, the name of the school? Same one. Same it's, name. Uh, the, the same name. Okay. Old Monastery. Like okay. That. Old cool. Monastery cool. Okay. So now that uh, yeah. in a lot of countries in the West, the lockdowns are finishing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I think people are going to start traveling more and more. Yeah, more and, uh, and more. Coming to Nepal. Yeah, so if they yeah. get a chance, you know, so, yeah, coming from Europe yeah, or America, yeah. they can and come visit. They, they can come yeah. to visit to me. <laughs> so then they can see this type of artwork. Yeah. And if somebody interested, I can teach them also. Oh, and cool. they can okay. buy the painting, you know, sure, even sure. because I have been told there as a price start from like 2000, 3000 rupees, uh -huh. means 10, 15 dollars also. We have nice Cheap painting. Too, yeah. And uh, so up to master qualities are different. <coughs> yeah, whatever they take, it will be like a support for school, like a contribution, you know. Mm -hmm. this the way that how we live here okay cool cool, cool. <laughs> okay so in the video i'll put a link for the um the location and yeah. the name of the school yeah, and the yeah. address yeah sure, uh, sure you can you can give it to me and then i'll, yeah, I'll yeah, post yeah, in the yeah, show yeah. notes you can you can also put there it's called chatrapati uh -huh. the location chatrapati okay the, so like a inside of tunnel and okay. uh, so and there is a school everything's that also have a art class everything mm -hmm. so like okay that. okay cool, <laughs> cool oh that's another okay last question uh, for somebody who is very interested in learning this, you know, Thanka painting or uh, do you guys offer kind of like for foreigners, you know, tourists, do you guys for, offer for, some, for, like yeah. a one day, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a one day class, like an yeah, experience, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. For you one, yeah, like yeah. We also do have a one day okay. class also like that. Okay. And uh, so just to make it mean sometimes people also have a hobby, you know, so yeah. just want to join for uh, like an hour, two hours, uh -huh. one day, something, you know, lessons, you know, right. learn the basics, basic, yeah, basic you know? like that. And okay. uh -huh. we also provide them. The okay, classes oh. like that okay. minimum like one day you know one but day uh, class, even yeah. three three months class one month oh, okay. class you know okay uh, one week class okay even okay. one day class, yeah. even 10 years of class. 10 years? Yeah. Here you go, 10 years class. You got, yeah. you got uh, yeah. Christmas. Yeah, yeah, Christmas. She signed up for the 10 year Yeah, package. yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> whatever she has been paying and study as years. that also, yeah. she can study. And uh, both, it means it's support for his, her life, you know, something yeah. that, as survive, how <coughs> she can live, you know, like oh, that. Oh, for sure. So okay. this is the way we also. Paint. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you for yeah. the interview. It's very interesting. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, that was a good interview. Yeah. Thanks so yeah. much. Yeah.